Prayer qualification versus prayer approval. Let's get to this one. Um, what is a pre qualifications pre approval pre qualifier approval? It's all um, the same. I would say it's all the same the same terms, but it's just different. Uh, the process is is a little bit different. So my name is Rose. I am a realtor in the state of Texas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this um, video, let's talk about it. My dog is making so much noise today. I don't know why. It's coming, coming, come right here. All right. So I am going to talk while I hold my dog because he refused to let me do this today. So let's talk about a pre-qualification. A pre-qualification is when you are in the process of buying a home, you decided, okay, I'm going to talk to a lender to see how much home I can buy. However, the pre-qualification, you didn't do a you didn't do like an application, the lender didn't verify your your unemployment there was no credit verification you just talk to the lender you told the lender okay this is the score for my credit this is how much money i make and this is um this so you just give the lender everything verbally and then the lender give you a rough estimate that's a pre-qualification and based on that pre-qualification some lender will give you a like a, a later that's a pre-qualification later that the lender talk to you and all the informations you give were verbally but nothing was verified a pre-qualifier or ever or pre-approval um if you want to call it like that or approval later you do a application so you go in the lender's website you fill out your applications the lender verify your credit some lender might charge you a 50 dollars to verify your credit score some lender may not and then you sent your bank statement showing that you have proof for your down payment and you send out your pay stub showing that you, you are at your job steadily, you are a W-2 and then you um, sent out the, the um, unemployment verifications so the lender has done everything verifying your credit verify income assets and um, your debt income with you and based on those information and the lender come back and say okay miss mrs so and so you are approved or pre-approved for x amount let's say if it was 200 you are approved for 200 if it was a million you are approved for a million and then the lender will give you a letter that says you are requalified for a 30-year loan with this amount and then if you are doing fha you will say fha if you are doing conventional and you will say the um the the ratio how much is the down payment and how much the loan amount is going to be and then there is in the lend in the lender also will include that your income your asset your credit was verified with a letter like that in today's market if you were to send an offer with a letter that says you are pre qualified it's like a pre-qualification where you just talk to the lender versus if you are pre-approved or approved where the lender has everything listed that everything has been verified the person who has the pre-approval letter or approval letter will most likely get that house because the seller is um the lender is assuring the seller that you are a solid buyer everything you say is true and based on that it's you are not somebody that's gonna say okay you get under contract and then you must likely to back out compared to somebody that didn't 
have the credit cool nothing was verifying that person is just like shopping around there's nothing and with a with and the one thing also even if your um interest rate is not yet secure the lender can tell you okay based on this information here's the market value but if you're since your credit is the amount, this is how much point you can get down if they want to do discount point they can tell you okay we'll give you discount point and the lender can even go on further to tell you if you get this loan amount this is how much your house note is going to be the lender is most likely to give you a more accurate information to compare if you didn't give the lender no information so everything you do it's a numbers game again um thank you for watching my youtube channel my name is rose Dunn. continue to subscribe to my channel for more video like this and if you um want more educational video i have more video um about the market area where you want to buy you can you can watch those video the document you need to get pre-approved um will be the next video you can watch so if you are in the process so you know what document the lender is needed for you to send again everything is a numbers game so try to do everything right this way you will reduce your stress on how you do things so my dog is very stressed today because my husband take the kids to the water park so i am going to take my mr wife for a walk today so thank you for watching my video until next time guys so goodbye